Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Biden supporters clueless or misinformed? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a good one, y'all. Let's check it out. My beautiful people around the world, my beautiful patriots, my brothers and sisters. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, that you are having an amazing week, that things are going well for you guys, man. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. But hit that like button. Let's jump straight in. We have another video from Wise, um, aka A Righteous Perspective. Link in the description box down below. Shout out to Wise. We love his content. And shout out to Trevor. Trevor actually sent this to me in the email um, after enjoying our, our, our previous video uh, with going around asking New Yorkers who are they voting for in 2024. So let's check this out. And again, y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new here. Join the OK Life family. And let's check this out. It's right here. This is going to upset you and it may make you laugh. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. And without further ado, let's go. Who do you want to run for president in 2024? Joe Biden. Biden? Yeah. Why? Uh, he's got a lot of experience. He's uh, stabilized the economy after COVID. Con boy, stabilized economy? He stabilized the economy after COVID. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Because I have like a huge list of like five things that I love from Biden. Yeah. So I love like uh, seven and a half percent interest rates, very high grocery prices. You guys are Trumpers, right? Tr Trumper? Yeah. What does that mean? I uh, support Donald Trump. I think he's the worst thing that ever happened to this country. How? Uh, just uh, Oh, because he took the um, $250,000 from Ukraine? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, that was Hunter Biden. My bad. They never have a reason. Wonder why. I wonder what why. would stop you from voting for Trump if he was the nominee? Everything. I would never vote yeah, for Trump. He's ruined this country. He's been a cancer for this country. How though? All the st what? Have you? Do you ever watch the news or not? Trump or Biden? Uh, with respect to who I would vote for? Yeah. I would vote for Biden. Biden? Why? Uh, because I do not like anything that. Uh, Trump stands for Biden gets closer to where I would land than Trump. Really? Because sure. I have like a huge list of five things I love from Biden. Mm -hmm. I love seven and a half percent interest rates and like high grocery prices, skyrocketing uh, gas prices, the war in Ukraine, the war in Israel. Just wondering okay. what your top five are. Well, you should probably uh, not vote for Biden then if you uh, already have decided against Biden. No, no, I like Biden. Okay. Um, I would, uh, I need to, uh, get going. Oh, you gotta go? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get going, but, uh, appreciate the opportunity to talk to <laughs> Oh, man, he spit out the facts, and now he don't wanna, he, he can't handle the pressure. He can't handle the pressure, you guys. And, you know, there's tons out here just like that. You spit out the facts, and they will, they cannot handle the pressure. Yeah. Real life to you and uh good luck with your journalism project do you have your top five list for biden oh sorry i meant to say that i've got to go so <laughs> <laughs> he can't handle the pressure oh man oh buddy i'm not gonna like continue the interview but they never have a reason never have they a reason. never have a reason these people they are voting against Donald Trump. They're not voting for Joe Biden. Huh. I'm so glad. I'm, again, hear that. Make sure I won't try to hear that again. Voting against Donald Trump. They're not voting for Joe Biden. That's the crazy thing. And to be honest with you, if you ask most people that are going to vote for Joe Biden this time around, they can't give you a reason other than they don't like Donald Trump. They can't name one facts, policy that they facts. appreciate. Not one. Not one. Because the policies suck. Wonder why. Who was the better president with foreign policy, Trump or Biden? Biden. Biden, probably. Biden, why? I lived overseas during the time that Trump was president, and honestly, it was really difficult to be. Did y'all hear him? He said probably. <laughs> probably. Go back. Why? 
I lived overseas during the time that Trump was president, and honestly, it was really difficult to be able to take, be taken seriously while he was, unfortunately, kind of destroying a lot of our foreign policy and relations. Really? Yes. I lived in France at the time. Oh, wow. France. I thought it was really good how Biden hasn't started any new wars. Yeah. Like, there was no Russia-Ukraine war with Biden. There was no Israel-Palestine war. I mean, they were both going to support the, the war in Palestine, so... Yeah, but I was saying, Biden hasn't started any new wars, which, like, I find, you know, really good, personally, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Biden's done, he's done a lot, you know, the first uh, Step Jobs Act, right, record low unemployment for minorities, mm -hmm. um, the child tax credit, yeah. record low uh, gas prices, uh, record high 401ks and yeah. stock markets, like he's done really good, you know? Alright, yeah, he's just with us. Yeah, I think Have a good day, man. I, I really did not remember. <laughs> Have a good day. Wait, I'm yeah, because they know those are none of the things that Biden did. Exactly. They just hate Trump. Again, another group of exactly. people that are not voting for Biden, they're voting against Donald Trump. This is insanity. I'm not messing with you. No, I know you are. I'm not an idiot. You have a good day, then, man. Oh, oh, let's go. I didn't say you were an no, idiot, brother. You just walk away? Huh? You walk away? Dude, oh, you don't have to... No, no, no. It's all right, man. Have a good day. Oh, I just want <laughs> you to defend your position, though. Huh? No, no, no. I'm not going to play this debate lord game where you pretend like you don't know what we're talking about. All right? Now, have a great day, brother. Bye. See you. Wow, I guess I'm a debate lord. It's a pretty good compliment. I'll take it. If the election was tomorrow, would you vote for Trump or Biden? Biden. Biden? Why? Um, because uh, I voted for him before. I still support him. Because I have like a huge list of top five things I like from Biden personally. The war in Ukraine, the war in Israel, uh, like 250% higher gas prices are like my top three things. What is your top five? That he's done so far. What's your top five? <laughs> um, well, I, I mean, I think that uh, mine are a little bit not necessarily what he's done or maybe what he's tried to do, but more sort of his integrity, his values, uh, what he stands for. Oh, brother. Give me a break. Bake me a cake and put icing on top of it, y'all. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse and worse, doesn't it? Oh, do not forget the icing on the cake, ma'am, please. Matter of fact, put some candles on there so I can blow it and make a wish. Uh, that he expresses empathy. Yeah. That, like he's, that him, he tries to be truthful. Like him and his son, like truthful. doing the business with Ukraine and China and stuff. Like, uh, I think they took like 250000 from China. Uh, I think there's uh, some um, conflict on, on that. What? It's been proven there. Yeah, see, that's pretty full of integrity to me. So I was just wondering if it is to you. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure that I understand your question. Are you trying to be sarcastic? Oh, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, you can't make this up. You can't. Not one person could stand on a policy. From Biden, no, not no. one person who said that they were going to support this guy can stay or stand on a policy that they really appreciate. Not one person. I told y'all in our la the last video when they asked New Yorkers and they had sons saying we're voting Trump, but the ones that said Biden, they didn't, they didn't know what was going on. You know, some just, you know. Didn't even want to answer the question, you know, and again, they said they're going to vote. <laughs> well, mo most most people in that in that new in that New York video was fit either 50 percent or Trump. And then there was a couple that went Biden, but. Still, they didn't they don't know what's going on. They have no idea, no clue. Of anything that's been going on. You know. And again. We don't bash anybody. We only spread love. You know what I'm saying. But. We're going. We're going. We know no sugarcoating man. No sugarcoating. We spreading the truth y'all. You know. Not one Person. The last lady hemmed hard and word salad her way through a, a bunch of nothingness. <laughs> wow.
hey, these are people with Trump dis- TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, and it's a daggone shame. It's a daggone shame. And it's just like the poll said. I was watching uh, uh, BCP this morning, and he was uh, discussing something around, along the lines of, of the polls. People that support Donald Trump can tell you why they support Donald Trump based off of policies, the policies that they like. Facts. The people that support Biden, they can't tell you a can't policy. You. They're only voting against Donald Trump. That's the only policy that they know. Hey, he's not Trump. Biden's not Trump. That's it. Make that make sense, man. Make that make sense. This is insanity. And this is America in 2024. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love. Salute to our brother Wise, man. The right to respect the link in the description box down below. Y'all comment down below what you think. Salute and love to all my beautiful patriots out there. And uh, we're wishing y'all an amazing rest of the day, rest of the week, rest of the month. And that 2024 is our year, y'all. We are winning. And they hate to hear it. I love you guys, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.